Yep, absolutely everything is a mess again. Well, you expected that probably, I expected that. But what do we have here? Let's find out, shall we? This may come as a surprise to some of you all. But I was not happy with my handbrake from Fnatic, and I haven't been since day one, pretty much. So I finally got a hold of this unit here. Uh, it was kind of difficult to get a hold of because it was sold out a lot of places. But. Oops, shit. Here it is. My new handbrake. It comes with like these extra pieces here. Well, not extra pieces, but well, some of them are extra, extra pieces. So you can adapt to other things. But uh, this is a different uh, rubber insert here to make it different uh, resistance. And you can adjust it in other ways too. But uh, these are the spacers. And this is actually a, an attachment plate so you can um, attach it to a, a single piece of aluminum extrusion. So I'm a little bit surprised that the uh, the metal here is not better done for this price, but uh, overall the materials are high quality. Let's first of all file this off because this is a uh, pretty sharp actually. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. I did not expect to have to do this. Very surprised to have to do this, as a matter of fact. You know, I heard Husingveld is like really top-notch stuff. I wouldn't think that they would allow this out the door with that big of an imperfection. But, you know, it was easy enough to correct. But there it is. Um, okay, let, let's uh, assemble this how I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it in this orientation. Now, some of you might question, you know, why put it in that configuration just because your car is like that? Why not try to replicate the car you're driving it in, you know, in the game? And that's for muscle memory purposes. You know, I, I try to keep it as, as close to what I do in real life because I can transfer all of all that muscle memory to my real car, and then you know uh, I'll have less complications when it comes down to actually doing the acts that I've been practicing for. Because like I'll just my my body will know where to go naturally. Now I know this is gonna sound kind of funny. But one of the biggest turnoffs for me about this unit is the fact that it has a wood hand grip. I like I know you're probably like, well, why does that matter? It, it doesn't matter at all. It just bothers me that there's it's a steel unit, and you know, like the rubber rubber doesn't bother me, plastic doesn't bother me, but wood <laughs> bothers me. Be, um, I just don't feel like it should belong in this kind of unit, but. I don't know. It's it's probably just easy to work with. You know, there's a reason why they went with wood over plastic. Maybe it was like you know to class the unit up or something like that. But whatever the reason, I don't necessarily like it. But it doesn't matter because it's under the grip. I absolutely despise um, USB 2.0. The connection is just it just seems really fragile. And I know it, you know, it, it worked out for phones and stuff, and but it was frustrating, you know, like you know, at night when you're trying to plug something in, it's just not a good connection. USB 3.0, it would be much better. Um, this little box, I know it doesn't need to do much, but this little box is, is not what I could, would consider a high quality piece. I mean, look, I, that's just not a good connection, like, it's just not a solid connection. Anyway, um, it probably won't matter, and I'm probably just overthinking it, but when I think of a high quality piece of equipment, you know, you're only as strong as, as your weakest component, right? And this is this is what I would consider a weak component, like, like it's, it's rattly, it's not actually mounted in there, it's just kind of like floating in there. I don't, I don't like this at all. It also doesn't seem like they included hardware to attach this. To this unit so I, I have to go buy some hardware to be able to use this um, unless they, they just mistakenly didn't ship it out to me like maybe it's supposed to yeah I, I don't I don't have it it's kind of disappointing not a huge deal but 
it's an inconvenient. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to mount this um, until I go to the hardware store now because I don't think I have any six millimeter hardware. I'll see what I have. Well, here she is all rigged up. You can see the positioning. I have it pretty close to the stick there. I just uh, put a little extension piece like that. And I'm surprised that th this uh, rubber thing isn't stronger. I'm. It's it's actually not like, like you can get all the way to the end of the travel pretty easily, uh, and this is the hardest one. So, well, we'll see how, how it feels. The other thing I discovered I don't like about this is the grip. The the grip feels comfortable, but it's kind of slippery. I, I got you know working man's hands. They're they're calloused and they're kind of dry, and and the grip feels slippery. If, if you had like soft hands, I don't think this would be a problem. But uh, yeah, I I can see this being an issue if you got like super callous hands. Super califragilistic hands. On the plus side, the material that they use for this feels super durable, and I don't think it'll wear out anytime soon. But uh, yeah, that's just another complaint I have. Okay, here we go. Now remember, I'm doing this barefoot, so and no shirt on, and with a mountain bike helmet on, on my face with a camera strapped to it. First handbrake. Feels great. WRC9's handling. Why did I say nine like that? Nine. Uh, feels amazing. It feels way better than WC8. WC8 feels really good too, but not quite. Oh, that guy didn't make it. Not quite on this uh, caliber. Now, in terms of the handbrake impl implement, ah, man, implementation, that's hard to say that. It's uh, amazing in this game. It's probably the best I've ever felt in any rally game. Uh, maybe Richard Burns Rally, actually, but modded. Not the original, of course. But, uh... Okay, we're about to start getting into some of the tighter stuff. A lot of handbrake usage. And this handbrake does really feel great. You know, after all the complaining I did in the first part of the video, I will say, this is a great feeling piece of uh, sim racing gear. And it does add a lot to the, the overall quality of your, your experience. And all these handbrake ooh, maneuvers are brought to you by Utsinkfeld. <laughs> okay, this is the end of the stage coming up here. So we'll book it. Okay. Little nitpicks aside, this is a great piece of gear. Have a good day. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.